Hi, I'm Lucy Aitken. I'm Managing Editor of Case Studies at Walk. We've been publishing the IPA effectiveness papers for more than 34 years. Subscribers can access all of those case studies, including this year's, at walk.com. Among this year's winners were three brands adopting a challenger mindset as part of their growth strategy. Supermarket chain Aldi nearly quadrupled its UK market share from 2% to 7.9%. This was down to transforming perceived negatives, such as a lack of branded products on its shelves, into customer benefits. Heineken's Now You Can campaign created a new role for alcohol-free beer by showing drinkers parking their car or working out at the gym. Since its success, the brand has been rolled out to 51 additional markets. Gordon's Gin adopted a challenger mindset when it relaunched by emphasising sociability and its new pink variant. That helped to generate £843 million in incremental revenue. Let's take a look at those three campaigns in more detail. In the last decade, the discount grocer Aldi has used advertising to change perceptions of its products and grow market share. The Like Brands campaign humorously acknowledged that Aldi didn't stock well-known names, but asserted that its products were both cheaper and just as good as more famous names. I buy this tea for my husband. He likes tea. He also likes this one. I don't like tea. I like gin. When the brand's Kevin the Carrot Christmas campaigns became a hit, Aldi's progress from the margins to the mainstream of UK retail brands was confirmed. By 2% value share in 2010, Aldi's share had grown to 7.9% by 2019, and annual sales increased to £9.4 billion. Heineken wanted to launch a premium non-alcoholic beer, 0.0, into key international markets. Research showed consumers were skeptical about the taste of non-alcoholic beer generally and the occasions to drink it. To counter this skepticism, advertising for 0.0 framed the product as a positive choice rather than a way to avoid alcohol. Using the line, now you can, Humorous TV ads showed consumers able to drink 0.0 at work, the gym, or whilst parking. The media plan, which also included social media, outdoor, sponsorships, print and in-store, targeted segments including active parents and the health conscious. As a result of communications activity, 56% of target audiences tried the drink, and 88 million euros of sales in the brand's launch markets meant Heineken met its goal of developing the world's biggest selling non-alcoholic beer. The brand has since expanded into another 50 plus countries. Gordon's is market leader in UK gin, but it needed to rediscover its challenger streak to kickstart its growth. To attract new gin drinkers, Gordon's invested in advertising with the slogan, Shall We?, that showcased the drink's role in facilitating relaxed social get-togethers. It also launched the premium berry-flavoured Gordon's Pink, aimed mainly at women. O-M-G and T. It's Gordon's Pink. Gin means berry. Investment was split 60% behind the main brand and 40% the new product. TV, posters and digital were used to build reach, as well as smart digital targeting of specific audiences. Following the campaign, Gordon's Pink became the second placed brand behind only the main Gordon's product. Despite the brand's size, total Gordon's value sales more than doubled between 2017 and 2019, and the relaunch generated an estimated £843 million of incremental revenue. You can now read all of the 2020 IPA Effectiveness winners and entrance cases at walk.com.